this is mr bahara so today onwards i'm going to continue uh, with the grammar classes every class in a sequence right here uh, these classes are completely meant for those who wants to learn english grammar from the you know from the bottom level but these classes will be in completely in english to english so try to understand it's not a problem but while learning we have to be very focused and concentrated so therefore whether the medium is not at all matter for us definitely we can learn well right so first let, let us start the class okay to learn grammar grammar in the sense so you know a functional okay structural structural rules of a language we call it as a grammar right okay before going to know about the grammar just i'm you know i have planned to teach you all the long ways in a sequence right so which enables you to understand very well so therefore just try to focus on it and try to understand and try to listen the class up to end therefore definitely you can learn it right see that so as we are learning about english so what's an english first one see is it a subject or a long ways english is a long ways we know that because subject what is the difference between subject and a long ways so you know subject can be learned by doing excessive work by you know practicing more but whereas long ways by practicing more you can't learn by feeling you know you if you have an experience if you you know if you feel that you can learn it so that is why it's a long way so right as english is a long ways so in how many forms the english long ways has been a well to avails so here my question is in how many forms the english long ways we have you know we have english long ways but how many forms of english long ways we have so right generally you know that uh, we we heard you know uh, we listen english okay right we listen uh, next we speak english so this is also okay okay and we we read we write english and we read english so that is why when it comes to english so l s r w l s r w skills have you heard it l s r w skills listening speaking reading and write but here uh, we listen english but that is the form of a spoken form we listen and we you know that we you know that we read english but which has been available in the form of writing so therefore so your listen and read completely depends on the either writing or spoken form so that is what so by this we can conclude english has two forms how many forms of english language has we have two forms of language that is one is a writing form of the language or nothing but writing english in the form of writing and the second one english in the form of spoken so these two are the forms of language right here you may ask a question sir you told here listen and read or uh, you know that read and listen you know when do you listen if someone is speaking to you in english okay their spoken form you listen but here listening is not a form of language right as well as when somebody has written on the paper if you read it so now you are reading english but which has been available in the form of writing therefore only english language has two forms those are writing form and spoken here so first one here uh, let, let us discuss about the writing form let's discuss about the writing form so what is the writing form of what is the writing form of english language you know that uh, a language which has been presented by using something we call it as a letter uh, writing form right now i have written english language only just see i have written on the board something but which i here which i wrote on the board is it english language yes it's a language but whereas 
to represent this English language, I used something. Can anybody say that? So here in say in the same here you can say like this base. Okay, we can say like base. What is the base of writing form of language? Writing form of English or English in the form of writing. What's the base here? See, to write something in English, I used some letters. So therefore, the base of writing is letter. L E T T R letter. So letters are the base of writing form, right? Letters, letters, see, letters are, letters are the best form of writing. Now we have to discuss about how many letters we have in English language. We have 26 letters, right? In English language, we have 26 letters. What are they? They are from A to Z. These letters are called, does anyone know? What do we call these all together? 26 letters together, we call it as an alphabet. It's not a bet, it's alphabet. Right? Alphabet. Right? So, for what did I say? So, English is a language, but English language is, you know, uh, it has two forms. Those are, one is writing form, and the second one is spoken form. Now, we are talking about the writing form. So, writing form of language, okay? Right, what is the base of writing form of the language means for the base of writing form is letter, I told. So in English language, we have letters from A to Z, these letters, right? Except A to Z letters, we won't use any letter. Uh, if we use any letter, those are not at all considered as English language, isn't it? Yes. So these are 26. From A to Z, there are 26 letters. Then the set of the set of these 26 letters we call it as a alpha. Okay. Right. So these 26, the set of 26 letters we call it as a alphabet. Right. Uh, but here the alphabet which we call the set of 26 letters. Again, these 26 letters uh, you know are further segregated are divided into two groups they are vowels and consonants vowels and consonants vowels and consonants see here it is not vowels it is vowels we have to pronounce like vowels right vowels and consonants okay we are uh, aware of all this so what are vowels a e i o you these are verbal letters and so what are consonant letters except so except means without except these a e i o u the rest of the rest of or the remaining the rest of or the remaining letters we call it as a consonant letters did you understand this so here for writing form the base is letter. In English language, we have letters from A to Z. So they are 26. These are 26 letters. Uh, we call it as a alphabet. Right? These 26 letters further classified into two groups. They are vowels and consonants. What are vowels? A, E, I, O, U. And what are consonants? Except A, E, I, O, U. The rest of are called consonants did you understand this so consonants right so as we discussed about the base of the writing form for the base of writing form is letter we have 26 letter they are vowels and consonants right very nice now let us discuss about the second form what is the second form here i have given the second form as a spoken form okay for spoken form what is the base now i'm speaking to you in english so, by using which, you know, by which I'm speaking to you, by using some sounds, I'm speaking to you in English, right? So, here, I'm using English language in the form of spoken, okay, to reach you, to reach you, I'm using some sounds, so that for the spoken form, the base, you know, the base of spoken form is sound. Have you understood this? Sound. Sound is the base. See the 
For writing form, letter is the base. For spoken form, sound is the base. See, for writing form, letter base. So there are 26 letters. These 26 letters we call it as an alphabet. And these alphabet again classified into two groups. Those are vowels and consonants. So A, E, I, O, U. These letters are called vowel letters. And the remaining letters we call it as a consonant letters. Okay. In the same way, right, as we are talking about the spoken form, as we are, you know, as we have to learn both the forms of language, as we are willing to improve our English grammar skills, okay, with, you know, perfectly. So, without any lapse, if we want to learn, so therefore we have to learn everything with a keen attention, right? So, have you understood this? Now tell me, sound, what is sound? Sound is the base of spoken form. Now I'm talking to you, right? I'm speaking to you by using some sounds. Here I'm using uh, English language, the form, which form am I using? Here am I using writing form or spoken form? I'm using spoken form. Right here, to use the spoken form, you know, I use some sounds, right? So in the same way, for writing form, we have letters. They are 26. In the same way, for spoken form, we have 44 sounds. How many sounds do we have? We have 44 sounds. Right. So we have 44 sounds. See there. 26 letters, 44 sounds. That is what. So in English language, only 26 letters are there. But with those 26 letters, we can make 44 sounds. So there is no one-to-one -one relation in English language. So therefore, so English is a somewhat, you know, confusing language because of sometimes at some place, a letter is pronounced in a different way. Whereas in another place, the letter is being pronounced in a different way. So that is why as there is no one-to-one -one relation with the letter and sound, there is a, you know, a slight confusion. To avoid that kind of confusion, we have to have a keen observation while learning the basic things of English language. So that's what I'm telling you. So just try to focus on, try to understand it. If you have any doubt, please let me know in the comment section. So in another class, for every comment, I'm going to respond to you, right? So let us see. So there are 44 sounds in English language. By using these 44 sounds, we can use the spoken form of language. We have 26 letters. By using only these 26 letters, we can use the writing form, right? So here, we, as we have 44 sounds, so in what way the 26 letters were divided as a, you know, uh, are divided as a vowels and consonants, and the, the, even sounds also, in the same way, they were grouped into two groups. Those are well sounds, well sounds, and the second one is consonant sound, consonant sound, well sounds and consonant sounds, right? Right, as for the letters, as we have 26 letters, we understood only A, E, I, O, U. Vowels are, all letters are only five. As well letters are 5, just accept the 5 letter, the rest of 21 letters. Again, again, you know that if we want to go for the further classification, there is another type. Now it is not required at all. Already, okay, when you come across such situation, definitely you will learn those things well. Okay. In the same way here, so in the same way here sounds also. As we have sound 40 foot sounds, these sounds also are grouped into two groups. Those are vowel sounds and consonant sounds. Right? Try to understand here. What are vowel sounds? What are vowel sounds? You know that just we have to understand the language, to understand the spoken form of language, English language. We have to know that the sounds which are from A to Aha. A to Aha. So these are, as we are, you know, the Telugu, if we take Telugu as a base language, Okay, based on Telugu, we can understand sounds which are from A to Aha, like uh, now the sounds which we pronounce like this, A, uh, A, uh, like E, E, long E, and U, U, long U, right? Like uh, Ye, Ye, I, O, O, Au, Um, like this. So these sounds, 
these sounds we call it as a world sounds and the sounds which are from ka to bandira ka to bandira these sounds are called consonant sounds like a ka ka okay but even if we look into the deep parts of it we have to go like this like a ka ga cha ja cha da uh, like a ja na ta da na pa pa ba ba ma ya ra la va sha se sa sha ha so these sounds we call it as a consonant sounds so that is what see this so these sounds are different letters are different but here under the letters i told all letters and consonant letters even at the sounds also we have the same vowel sounds and consonant sound so as there is uh, okay it seems it resembles seem equal so can we say letter and sound are equal no letter is different sound is different right i have understood this here letter is different sound is quite different we have to know that what is the difference between the letter and the sound here uh, so sometimes the letter may be different sound may be different example if we take example suppose see take example uh, now let us let us go through all the letters of the all uh, you know all the letters of english language we have a to z letters let us take a right what is the sound of first what is the letter of this is it vowel letter or vowel consonant letter it's is it vowel letter or consonant letter so a e i o u so out of this set a is one of the letters so therefore it's a vowel letter see i wrote here v l in the shortcut v l means vowel letter next what is the sound here so here see it, it is pronounced like a so here i gave you a set of sounds from which a to aha these sounds we call it as a vowel sounds so as the sound comes under this group this is to be called as a vowel sound v s and v l have you understood what is v s and v l and take take example f take example letter f so right first let me know that so is it a vowel letter or a consonant letter see once you have to look out is f a letter or consonant letter is f a letter or consonant letter so here f so f is not a letter of the set we have a e i o u so therefore it is not a vowel then it's a consonant so that f has to be considered as a consonant letter i wrote here c l c l in the sense consonant letter and now let us see what is the sound of the letter f so in what way we are pronouncing this at the starting f f so here i'm using at the starting a a so as i'm using a here the sound is in between from a to aha so therefore the sound of f is vowel sound now did you understand this either so that is what in this letter both the letter and the sound are vowels but in this letter here letter is consonant letter whereas its pronunciation while pronouncing the sound it's a well sound well sound did you understand this take example one more example like yes we can take s also see s also comes under it's a consonant letter because it is not a in the set of a e i o u as it is not in the set of a e i o u we can say it's a consonant letter but whereas its pronunciation see there while pronouncing yes ye i'm using ye so it's not ya it's ye so as i'm using ye ye is the sound of from a to aha sounds so therefore here it is to be considered as a all sound did you understand this so in this way first we have to differentiate a letter whether the letter is a vowel letter or consonant okay so in this way in this way first we have to differentiate whether the given letter is a is it a vowel letter or consonant letter is it a vowel sound or consonant sound right if we understand this so in the days to come we are going to learn very well right let me sum up so far what did i say so this is our grammar class first class okay in this class so i told 
English is a long ways, right? English long ways has two forms. Those are writing form and spoken form, right? As we have two forms, so first let me tell you what is the first form of it. That is writing form. For writing form, we have learned the base of writing form is letter. In English language, how many letters we have? We have twenty six letters. These what are twenty six letters from A to Z? These letters are called twenty six letters are called alphabet. So this alphabet out of this twenty six A E I O U these five letters we call it as a whole letters and except these five the rest of letters we call it as a consonant letter. So this is the letter is the base of writing form. So as we have another form spoken form, what is the base of spoken form? But the base of spoken form is sound. Sound is the base form of the you know uh, spoken form. So in English language, how many sounds we have? We have forty four sounds. Even those forty four sounds also has been divided into vowel sounds and consonant sounds. Vowel sounds and consonant sounds. So what are vowel sounds? What are consonant sounds? Even if it for go for uh, with the number, we can say we have twenty vowel sounds and twenty four. Consonants of sounds, which together forty-four sounds, right? So out of these forty-four sounds, the total spoken form is exhibited by using only these twenty-six letters. With the base of these twenty-six letter, the complete writing form is being exhibited, right? Did you understand this? So what are vowel sounds means? As we are a uh, Telugu native, right? If we take Telugu as a base language, so in Telugu sounds we have. A to aha sounds, like uh, the sounds which are from a to aha. These sounds we call it as a all sounds. And other than a to aha, the rest of sounds from ka to bandira, like uh, so all the sounds which are embedded in the middle of ka and bandira, those sounds are considered consonant sounds. For that, so here first you have to differentiate. Letter is different, sound is different, because for that I gave example. If we take a, so it's c. Actually, it is to be pronounced like a. It's not a, but in the pronunciation, we have to pronounce like a, right? It is a all letter and all sound. But when we take f, it's a consonant letter, but it is a vowel sound. Why it is to be considered as a vowel sound? I let I have explained you, right? So try to understand this class just once. You have to. Listen this class again. You know, while learning, while learning, listening plays a vital role. The more you listen, the more you learn. Because listening is the first step of learning. So therefore, so I request you all to listen well and learn well. I wish you happy learning. Signing off.